Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of British vs. American. Today with, wow, it's the same guy from last Hey, week. it's me, I'm Luke. <laughs> <laughs> also today's video is brought to you by NordVPN, so you'll be hearing more about that in the middle of the video. Today we're talking more about taxes, but more specifically sales tax, state tax, VAT. Ooh. Tell me how VAT works, because a lot of people in the US don't understand how, like when you visit the UK and you buy a burger that says one pound, yep. you pay one pound. So, what a tax app, bro. VAT is set up in such a way What's that, so it stands for value added tax. And it's the tax basically on the value that you've added to a product. So for example, imagine you buy a loaf of bread for 80p, mm -hmm. right? And then you sell the bread for two pounds. Yeah. Then you have this value added tax, which is basically charging you money to the government on the amount of value that you added to the bread rather than purely your profit. So the way that works is that say you spent a pound mm -hmm. on bread. I'm gonna say a pound for the sake of calculation, right? Yeah. You would be paying 20% VAT on that bread as a business. You would then be able to claim that 20p back from the government, the VAT. Yeah. And then when you sold the bread for two pounds, you would charge VAT to the customer and you would then give that VAT to the government. Now the effect of that is that because you get the VAT back on the purchase, mm -hmm. but you give VAT on the price you sold it for, then you end up paying a tax, which is the difference between the VAT that you purchased and the VAT, and the VAT, that, VAT that you, sold, that you sold. That's why it's a value added tax. I genuinely never knew this. And so the, way, the reason that's really helpful is that if you are a business that's gonna take like a while to get profitable, you might be buying more stuff than you're selling. Mm -hmm. And so in that scenario, this is something that my business does at the moment whilst we're waiting to finish this blooming film. In that scenario, we are paying, say, £10,000 for a camera and we are getting back £2,000 or roughly from the government, which we can then use to spend on more stuff. And then one day when we sell this thing or we make a product or we become profitable, you, we will then oh. pay VAT or charge VAT to our clients on the money, but it deters, it delays that until in the future when we're profitable. So it's a really good system for allowing you to fail and the government will help you in as your failure yeah. and as a business. It's really good for you to like put a load of upfront investment in stuff and get some money back. So one of the ways we did our film was we would do a chunk of the work which we're paying VAT on, mm -hmm. and then we get the VAT back from the government, and then we pay the next bunch of work with the VAT we got back. So it helps you use your money several times. And then later on, you'll pay a lot back in VAT when you're a profitable business. I did not know. I literally thought we were just gonna talk about like how convenient it is for the consumer. No, nah, no. What number you see when you go to the store to buy clothes right. is the exact sure. number. So this is this really weird thing about America. Is that a in the different UK, VAT? No, no, so that is, that's the end, the end charge VAT, so it's like- Whatever the, number whatever you see word. in the, it's great for advertisers yeah. in the UK, because yeah. if they say, buy this like new laptop for a thousand pounds, you pay a thousand pounds. Yes. In the US, depending on what state you're in, yes. you could pay a vastly different number. So that's, yeah, this is the thing that we in the UK, a normal person growing up in the UK who doesn't then run a business, yeah. wouldn't really need to understand VAT. Yeah because we're not dealing with it all the time. Whereas no. in America, you have this weird thing going on where you're meant to like calculate the price of everything you ever purchase because it's not in the purchase price. Yes, so it's yes. annoying as well for companies that are trying to do nationwide advertisements because sure. they, can, they basically have to advertise like this is 99 cents but then, you know, with the very small asterisk is state taxes apply. Yeah. So if you're in New Jersey, which has a statewide tax of 6.625%, uh, okay. Very specific. Basically then, when you go to get your dollar burger, you pay one dollar and six cents. I think that, the thing is about that to, for me is that is a really backwards system, in my opinion. Purely from the perspective of, it helps you out. shouldn't feel like you're paying tax all the time. Because that's not a very nice way to live. That's a good point. It's not a nice would way Would you rather to, have it hidden? Yeah, yeah, I genuinely would. Like, it, not hidden as in, you can find out about it if you oh, want okay. to. But I don't want, like, if I go and buy like an iPhone or something, mm -hmm. I don't want to think about how this business, Apple in America, has made this device, and for some reason, the queen gets 20% of the price. Like, I don't need to think about that. That's the way our tax system is set up, and absolutely fine that, you know, the queen runs the country indirectly. Well, 20% is so, a lot. Yeah, well, that's- Oh my just, gosh, I just realized your VAT is 20%. Yeah, yeah. New Jersey is 6%. Sure. That's a big difference. Sure. 
Yeah. There's we, a big difference. We have healthcare, man. <laughs> <laughs> Complain to me when you've got healthcare. <laughs> I lived in the south of New Jersey. And the, the good thing about living in South Jersey is you live just a quick bridge, just a quick drive away from Delaware, the home of tax-free shopping. So the Christiana Mall is right across the border. I can drive for a half hour. Boom, I buy a new laptop for $1,200. I pay $1,200, no tax. If I had to buy that in New Jersey, I would have had to pay 1350 or something. See, that is like an example of how like, although that's really cool for you, it just shows how dumb the system is. Well, because it means that people without cars or without free yeah. time are taxed more. And that's one of the problems with the VAT as Actually, well. Actually, they've what? set up a shuttling service from Salem County, New Jersey oh my to goodness. Delaware which doesn't make sense as a New Jersey person because it's like, yeah, we'll help you guys just leave money out yeah. of our state. One of the problems with VAT though is that, so we were talking in our last video, we were talking about tiered taxes yeah. and how like if you're earning less, you get more tax relief or you pay less tax. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good system for helping people with less, like get on with their lives yes. and not have to be paying for the whole country to run, right? The problem with VAT is that VAT is less so for the end user for the consumer for the average person mm -hmm. it's less liberal what is vat not on children's clothes it's low food what I if i'm a small man i think there isn't vat on but actually if you're a small man i buy children's clothes for myself yeah well then you pay less vat i think i think that's how it works there's like things that are deemed to be essential can i buy like extra extra large child clothes <laughs> <laughs> to save money um yeah i you, you're uh, don't okay. necessarily <laughs> directly what, all the things that are non-VAT, but there are some things which are deemed essential by the government. I okay. think some of those are like cakes. I think cakes have less VAT. Very essential in the UK. Yeah, for tea. yeah, sure. Yeah, I think it might be tea cakes actually. I can't remember. But there's a few things that are deemed to be essential, which is one of the big things about the sort of tampon issue is that tampons are currently taxed as luxury items. And so if we have this pot of money that's designed are for- Are condoms? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. I haven't memorized the entire VAT exemption list, I'm sorry. Say you earn 20 times more than a person who is like just about getting by. Mm -hmm. You don't buy 20 times more stuff. And so VAT can be seen as sort of like a tax on the poor because you're, you are always paying VAT on everything you purchase other than stuff that's exempt, mm -hmm. no matter how much money you earn. It turns out you do pay taxes. You guys um, pay VAT on condoms because you can find other free methods of contraception if you can't afford it, such as pulling out. Well, and you can get free condoms from the NHS. Fun fact of the day. Yeah. But they just like directs. Yeah, my, one of my friends from home with the same name as me once ordered a Luke load Cuthbert? of- load of- It's you? This sounds like- Is it you? This sounds like- Someone with my name ordered <laughs> lots of condoms. This is what the story is right now. Someone with my name, which sounds like an excuse, it's not, ordered like a load of free condoms from the NHS with my name and address. And then I got like a letter being from the NHS or something about like STD testing and yeah, it was a it was a bad time. Anyway, move on. Because Moving it on. It doesn't look like I'm lying, but I'm not. What's that? So, uh, oh, it's it's time for the sponsor. Look, Evan. Do you guys seriously think I'm in the UK right now? Because well, I'm actually in Munich. How'd I do it with today's video sponsor? NordVPN. <laughs> with NordVPN, you can quickly change your browser location to one of over 62 different countries and over 5,000 servers so you can watch whatever content you want wherever you are. Listen, who here hasn't heard of NordVPN.com slash Evan? I heard it once from a certain guy, also named Evan. It was me. <laughs> but am I safe, I hear you ask? I mean, safe enough to know that your data is always private and your IP address is hidden. Pretty darn safe. It's time to use NordVPN, okay? You get six simultaneous connections, you get it for yourself, you can share it with five friends. Or charge them. Start your own business. Nord will, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Worrying about your privacy can be taxing on the brain. Don't worry about it. Click that NordVPN.com slash Evan 70% off a three-year plan. It just makes sense. Listen, you should try it before you buy it. If you don't like it, they got a 30 day money back guarantee so you can sign up. Maybe it's not for you. Maybe you don't need to watch all the content you want to watch on Netflix. I don't know what your prerogative is. And if you want to safely browse the web on a server in your home country, well, well you can. We're back in the UK. Back to you, Evan and Luke. In order to discourage people from New Jersey from just driving quickly across to Christiana Mall, yeah. they've devised a plan where the specific county next to the like Delaware area, you have half the sales tax. Right. So you only paid 3% while living in Salem County. So it's like a gradient. Yes, however, that just made it still not very competitive because then other people from other counties would go to Salem County. It's just such a dumb system. <laughs> yes, yes. It's so stupid. Like, either you guys should be separate countries or you shouldn't. Like, it's weird. No, because I like the idea of state tax. Every state has its own sure. funds and they want to do yeah. things differently. No, it's, it's good in terms of like, 
splitting up power and things like that. But it's also like silly when, you know, like some different people in different parts of the country are paying different prices for the same product. Yes. That seems unfair. But for instance, I, th I believe there's seven states that have no state income tax. So <laughs> Wyoming is one of them and they have a 500,000 population. So very, very small as a state. Sure. You know, a Texas is another one which has a lot of industry. Nevada is another one. But either way, out of those, you might say, oh, I want to move there because there's no state income tax. Yeah. Then you have probably higher property taxes. Yeah. Higher other taxes just for funsies. Yeah. Well, they've got to get their money somehow, haven't so, they? So, yes, in New Jersey, you do not have tax on any groceries. No sales yeah, tax on so groceries. Yeah, I think that's true in here as well. Okay, no sales tax on Very clothing. Low. Yeah. On any clothing. Actually, yeah, I believe so. So Gucci wow. is an essential. So with, with food in the UK, if you go into a shop and order some, like, some food, they'll often ask you, are you eating in or taking away? And the reason for that is because there's a different tax whether you decide. What? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was a, just a so, dick tax for them to be like, oh, you want to sit in to eat? No, no, you yeah, have to use it's... our benches and pay extra money. No, no, it's a tax. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing to do with the, the restaurant. I thought the restaurant money. was just. It was always prep, and they were always no, doing that. No, so no, I always they say, have to pay I'm tax. taking away, yeah. and then I sit down like. <laughs> well, you're a tax evader now. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> HMRC are coming for you. <laughs> It was my friend with the same name. As me. <laughs> it was not me. As an nah. example. My friend Evan Edinger doesn't pay his sales tax. Oh, so in the in the US, I know it's on unprepared food, so groceries. Yeah. But if yeah. you buy food at a restaurant, you do pay sales tax. Yeah. So it's considered a luxury if you're sitting in and dining in another place. Oh. Whereas it's considered just normal food and tax at a different rate if you are just taking it away because getting takeaway food is the same thing as going to a supermarket. Right? If you like, if you get like a what? takeaway sandwich, I think there's also no, a difference. No, it's not. I think there's also a difference if it's hot or cold food, but I can't remember quite how it if works. If food is takeaway, you don't charge VAT unless the food you're serving attracts VAT anyway. For example, if it is standard rated or if it is hot food. So if I heat up my Pret sandwich. Yeah. So I think if you Keep say, for cold. example, you bought soup at Pret, then it would always be VAT rated. Just because it's hot because it's hot food, so it's not considered in the same way that like you go to Tesco and you buy Is that why cold every, food. I've, I realize whenever you go to Subway or any of those bad sandwich shops in the UK, they always ask if you want to heat the sandwich. <gasps> Whoa, is that a v different VAT, right? You, it's hot I don't food. know. Because in the US, I don't know many people that want a hot hoagie. You know, you want I mean, cold, it's cold such, cuts. It is a super complicated thing. There's like a section for sushi in here. It's like, yeah, but yeah. So there's different rates of tax based on whether you're eating in, whether it's hot or cold, and also I think different types of food potentially. Wow. I mean, I've genuinely learned a lot of stuff today. Yeah. I have to pay council tax. I live in the UK. Yeah. I don't yeah. know what it is. I just know I pay a stupid amount every yeah. gosh dang month. So yeah, council tax is probably the most problematic of the taxes with regards to like Old tweets. equality. Old tweets. <laughs> council tax is tweeting some racist stuff in 2005. Like different areas charge different amounts. So if you mm -hmm. live in an expensive area, it might have a higher rate of council tax, but it's, sent, and it's also based on the price of your house, I believe, the house yeah. you're living in. But basically, Even though you're renting, which is silly to me. It's basically there to pay for like the bin men and like the local council services. It's by the council rather than by the government. And it's about okay. all the different things that go into your house being, a, and your house and your local community being a thing that you want to live in, right? Mm -hmm. But the problem with it is that if no matter how much you earn, you're paying the same tax rate. And it's quite yeah. high as well. Like in London, it's like a couple of hundred pounds a month for council tax, like yeah. it's, it's, it's insane. expensive. So, do you not have anything like that in the US? Well, we have state tax, which is, oh, and we do have local tax, but it's really like 1% type thing. Mm -hmm. Like it's really not that much. They get you with property tax and they get you with that type of thing. I mean, to be fair, I never lived as an adult in the US. This is very yeah, important. Yeah. I kind of was a college student before I moved here. So I grew up as an adult here and had to deal with these taxes. But I still have to pay the taxes to the IRS in the US. That's the biggest <laughs> thing here. Very frustrating. Yes. You pay tax to the council, which has the council stuff. Yeah. And then you pay the uh, income tax, which is for the whole country. Yeah. And the last one you pay is national insurance, which is means tested above, I think, between five and six thousand pounds a year. So like, say, for example, oh, you're that's in, in case you lose yeah. your job. No, no, no. That's like the NHS, things like that. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's um, the good stuff. As far as I'm aware, it's NHS and things like that. Um, it might be for welfare as I well. I thought it was national sure. insurance. No, no, no. I mean, let me check. Die Arbeitslosengeld, I believe is the word in German. Just what, for national that. insurance? Yes. Well, no, it's an Arbeitslosengeld, Arbeitslosengeld, something like that. That is basically the insurance for if you lose your job, you automatically get paid by the government to, to find your new job. So you were right. National insurance is paid by employers, employees and employers to build entitlement to certain benefits such as state pension and maternity. Interesting. 
And so that's like a, another complicated thing about it's like 12% of your weekly earnings between this amount and 2% above this amount. It's a different way of means testing, but it's like, it's a different thing. Yeah, it's an insurance. You're probably closer to what I was about right there. They found out I didn't pay my taxes. Well, <laughs> <laughs> there goes our council tax. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this hopefully really interesting video on US, UK taxes. A bit, a bit of German, I sprinkled them there. Uh, if you liked it, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, or you can watch some previous videos I've made. They're pretty good. Also, check out Luke's channel. He makes good stuff. Please. Danke schön. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.